Back, everyone. Dr. Manny Sethi, a trauma surgeon in Nashville, is running as a conservative outsider and strong supporter of President Trump. He joins me now in our local election headquarters. And Dr. Sethi, thank you so much for joining me. Let's go ahead and get right to it. We know that you support President Trump, yet the president has endorsed U.S. Ambassador to Japan, Bill Haggerty. And even though Haggerty hasn't announced and doesn't plan to do so until he leaves his post, and that's at the end of the month, with that presidential stamp of approval, do you feel like you still have a chance in this race? Well, Katina, thank you, first of all, for having me. It's great to be back here in Memphis. You know, uh, I love the president. I support the president. I've spoken at his, one of his rallies. I've been to the Oval Office. Now, look, you know, uh, the ambassador has worked for the president. We all assume that he would endorse him. I would hope that, you know, he, he, the, he worked for the president. Uh, but I do think that people here in Tennessee, look, they want to make their own choice. They don't want this race decided in D.C. They want to vote right here in Tennessee. So I think we're going to win this thing. Okay, listen, you've recently revealed that during your son's sixth birthday party that you got numerous calls and from high-level Republicans telling you not to run. How many people and exactly what did they tell you? You know... <clears throat> It was uh, my son's sixth birthday, and you know there were a series of phone calls from some well-placed people. But you know, like I'm a trauma surgeon, you know, patient-doctor confidentiality. I, you know, I'll just leave it to the fact that there were many high-level people who called me, just told me, "Look, you have no right to run. You, uh, you know, you haven't done your time, etc." But listen, I'm not in this for the career politicians or the establishment. I'm here right now, running for the people of Tennessee. Listen, my parents were immigrants. They came here from India. I grew up in uh, rural, rural Tennessee in Coffee County. I've lived the American dream in Tennessee. As a trauma surgeon, I've been making a difference. But now with this opportunity, with Senator Alexander retiring, I feel like it is an opportunity to make a different kind of difference, a bigger difference. And that's why I'm asking the people of Memphis tonight to consider me, to vote for me. Okay, so you didn't name the people then. I'm going to ask you tonight, are you prepared to do so? No, because I, I think it just takes the focus away from the important issues of our time, of reforming health care in America, of fixing of our broken immigration system, of solving this opioid problem that we face all across Tennessee. And this is what my life has been about, about serving the people across our state. Over 10 years, I've run a nonprofit called Healthy Tennessee. We've traveled across Tennessee, taking care of patients in all, almost all 95 counties. And I want to continue that service in the U.S. Senate. Okay, we have about 20 seconds left, so 10 seconds answers from uh, both of these questions. From the comments under that article uh, that you pull up at published where you talked about this very issue, some Republicans were mad at you for outing what is done behind your party's uh, closed doors. Any regrets and will you continue to do so? Oh, well, you know, I think that was a very small number of people and the majority of people, uh, the thousands of people who liked it, who complimented me and wherever I've been across Tennessee, people are stopping me and saying, hey, I read your post. Because listen, People are sick and tired of politics as usual. And in this race where you have a conservative outsider versus a career politician insider, I think the choice is going to be clear. Okay, about five seconds, truly. You announced that you had $1.5 million for your campaign. How much of that is your own funds? Well, we raised over uh, a half a million dollars uh, in 20 days. And actually, five of those days I was on call, so I couldn't really even raise money. So really, 15 days. <laughs> okay. um, so. So most of it coming in from money that was raised from other yeah, people. Yeah, people across the state who, you know, small dollar donations, people who came to me and they said, Manny, we are ready for something different. And that's why I'm running. Because if you are sick and tired of politics as usual, if you are sick and tired of these people telling you one thing and doing the other, I'm your guy. Dr. Manny Sethi, thank you so much for joining me this evening. Thank you so much.